Hey everyone, Kevin Bloom here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can determine if deep squatting is an appropriate movement for you to engage in. And while deep squatting has many benefits and can be a very, very good movement pattern to engage in on a regular basis, if you haven't deep squatted in a while, or if you have some kind of underlying medical condition, then just jumping right into squatting and squatting more and more could actually uh, exacerbate any underlying issues or could actually cause you to get hurt. So I definitely don't want that happening. So before doing that, or before we talk about ways to implement it into your day or into your lifestyle, we need to set a baseline for your squatting abilities. Now, how we're gonna set that baseline is by simply looking at the squat. And how you're gonna do that is by taking a board like a two by six or a two by four or a book about that height and you're just going to stand with your feet uh, parallel with each other, so toes should be pointing straight ahead. Heels will be up on the board, as you can see here in the video. The arms are going to be overhead with the elbows straight, and keeping your heels in contact with the board and your arms overhead, you're just going to simply squat down as low as you can, pause for one inhale and one exhale at the bottom, and then stand back up. Now, if you can squat below parallel, meaning your hips drop below your knees without pain, that means squatting is going to be an acceptable activity that you can start to implement into your day. However, if you are unable to squat below parallel or, and or if you have pain, those are going to be things that need to be further investigated before we implement deep squatting into your routine. And the best way to do that is that if you are unable to squat below parallel and you don't have pain, I would seek out a professional that performs the functional movement screen because they're going to be able to identify any underlying movement patterns that could potentially uh, be hindering your ability to deep squat and can help you address those. However, if you do have pain, regardless if you're able to squat below parallel or not, you need to see a medical professional like a physical therapist or athletic trainer or chiropractor who possesses the, uh, the um, assessment criteria known as the Selective Functional Movement Assessment. Now, the best resource that you can use to find these professionals is simply going to functionalmovement.com and looking up someone in your zip code. So there you have it. That's how you're going to determine for yourself if squatting is an acceptable activity to implement in your day. And in my next vi video, I'm going to be showing you strategies or talking about strategies on how to do that. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.